Hi, this is Zach OX, and we're going to go over functions within Visual Basics. Um, I'm going to go quickly over some of them. I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, we're going to go to View Code. I'm in a standard EXE. Um, so we're going to start with the form load. Like always, click on this combo box, form load. Okay. Um, functions within Visual Basics. Six. Um, if I kind of explained earlier what the functions do, but usually when you're writing them in Visual Basic 6, you're trying to get a return. Here they can be returning anything because you're not really sure what they are, so I would look some of them up. Uh, we have left string, and what that does is it returns um, a string from, like, let's say we have mom here for a second. And the way we want to use this is message box left string. The string and then the numbers to the left. Um, how many do you want to see? Let's say two. So, oh, excuse me. That's why it's not working. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be careful what you write. Okay, so right here, when we message box this, it should say MO. Um, go ahead and hit hit uh, run, and as you can see, it does say MO, which is for short for mom, but it takes string characters from the left. Um, we can do this also from the right, and we would do that with the message box right. String, mom. One that would just be M from the right. Two would be um, O M. And then we also have length, which is L I N. Maybe you want a message box. The length of the string. This is going to get you a string. Um, so you want to go mom. Then it will tell us how many string letters are in there. Characters, excuse me. So we're going to have three is our answer. Um, and what's some other ones? Well, we also have in string. And the way we would do this is message box in string. And you want to start at one. The string is going to be mom. And then I believe string two is what you're looking for. Let's say O. Compare is going to be VB text. Compare. Close that. Um, so what that should say is, if it's in there or not, it's going to give us a number. Um, let's go ahead and run that so I can remember. <laughs> I don't always remember everything that I'm doing on this thing. So we have three for the length, that's correct. And two, which is telling us send string at position two. We started at one. So you could start at a different position, but we started at one. It counted the M. And then the zero or the O saying, oh, that's two, position two that's in the string. Um, let's see, what other functions do we have? There's some date functions we have too. Um, we just say date, and that will give us the date of today. But it doesn't really give the date of today, it depends on your time clock down here. Now, Mine says 1251 at the bottom right, but if your uh, Windows has a different time or whatever that's not set to the real date, it's going to message message box right now what that date is. Um, if you want the time, you just put time. And if you just wanted everything, you use now. Um, there are other functions such as date add, which can add you can add seconds, minutes, uh, days to uh, a date that you have. So maybe you want to find two days from now. When is that? Um, that's what you'd use to make a calendar or whatnot. Um, then we also have um, day. And what that is is you put the date and it will tell you what day it is. Um, so f so uh, out of the date. So this would probably equal, if today is 21st, it would equal 21. Um, 
has to be message box. And we could have message box um, month message box year. And like I said, you're going to want to look these up. I mean, there's so many different functions that you can use to help you out that you do not have to write. You don't need to write code to find the year um, when you can just already use a function that's within Visual Basics. Um, so you can see the functions up here. And there's some other ones. I don't remember them all, but like I said, I'd look some of these up. Um, they're best for you, for your benefit, and to make your program code a lot less. Um, we it, we also have a shell, I believe, and then whatever you want to run. Um, you can run things from Task Manager. You can look and see what's in the Windows process. Um, but <clears throat> this usually you shell a program. Maybe you want to run something. Maybe a game or something. You're making some kind of program that runs a game. Who knows? But look up some of the functions. Uh, they're so helpful to print them out. Know what they are on top of your head. You may have to call some of them sometime. You may need to know the length of a string, uh, what's on the left, what's on the right. Um, even have something like splitting. Uh, we do split and the expression. Um, let, let's say it's a uh, string, which is going to be mom again. And what we want to split it by is the M. And we say the limit is negative 1 bb text compare. And what this is going to give us is, if you remember what I was talking about arrays, it's going to give us elements. Um, so what we're going to have here, we need to have an array declared. So let me show this properly because I'm not showing this properly for this function to work. Um, dim e string mom who cares and this is where you don't know how many is going to be in the array. Remember when I said dynamic? Okay, so we're going to do a string mom is equal to split. Now what this is going to do is going to take this mom string right here and it's going to split between the M's. So the first one we're going to have is, um, from what I remember, I believe it's going to be O, and that's it. Um, let me go ahead and check that real quick. So I can verify with you guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and push play on that. And we get a lot of the other answers we've been trying to get real quick. Um, length. Here's the end string. And now we're at the array. So the first one, yeah, it's not going to be anything. This should probably be an error. Nope. It's going to be zero. Okay, so now I can explain this a little bit better. Here's all the things that we had for all the functions. So what just happened was we split by the first M. Um, there's nothing before it. So right here, there's nothing, and then when we when we're splitting after after this m, what's left be, um, before it is the is o. So that's why there's only two elements. This one's going to be uh, nothing, and this one's going to be o. Um, you may use this split for whatever reason in your strings, but for me, huh, so much explaining to do. I'm going to leave it at this for now. Um, if you have any more questions, want to go over some more stuff, want me to write something on screens, program, whatever, uh, just go ahead and ask. I'm sorry I did this so quickly, but at least I have videos that do have um, co content. You, you're looking for content, and you're not going to find a lot of that on YouTube. Um, so go ahead and, and comment and whatever, and I'll try to get more content up here. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy, and I hope this will help you out a little bit more.